Workers are protested outside of a famous hedge fund office yesterday in Chicago. Now, some money managers on the inside have wondered out loud if they will be replaced by robots. My next guest says the American workforce will look very different in just a few years. Nanotronics Chief Revenue Officer Justin Stanix is with me now. Justin, great to see you. Great to see you, dear Justin. So robotics, we know, are changing everything about manufacturing, but mm -hmm. you're saying there's a revolution coming to white-collar jobs as well, right? Uh, that's true. I mean, actually, really all jobs. And the thing is that the future will be comprised largely of what we call brilliant machines. And, you know, this is a term General Electric uses as well. And what these are, these are machines that are the convergence of four things. That's advanced computational algorithmic software, artificial intelligence, and robotics. And then the fourth component changes really based on the application. In the case of Google, it's a self-driving car. In the case of Nanotronics, it's an automated microscope. Both are fully autonomous, and what makes them autonomous is this convergence. So with nanotronics and the microscope, for mm -hmm. example, so in other words, a scientist doesn't need to be there looking at an exact film, whatever's on the slide, whether it's mm -hmm. blood or something else. Essentially, there's a chip that's reading the material. Right, there's software that's reading the material, and oftentimes in our case, the material actually is a microchip. And so what we're doing and what, frankly, all of this automation is doing is it's not replacing the workers, it's setting the workers free. And what automation will do is kind of like the Internet gave us what Clay Shirky defined as cognitive surplus, an abundance of collective human cognitive ability. Automation will create a time surplus. And really, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, the first time surplus since the commercialization of electricity, where the day has more hours in it because it's no longer absorbed by doing rote tasks. All right, but what does this mean for for people who say, I can't do anything else. I am good at construction. And so if a robot does my construction job, it's not like I'm going to turn myself into a programmer overnight. <laughs> well, that's true. And they maybe don't need to become, I mean, a computer programmer or anything else. First of all, it, for the foreseeable future, I mean, even though this will happen very rapidly over the next 10 and 15 years, I mean, the World Economic Forum estimates that 5 million jobs will be automated out of existence by 2020. Um, the best combination is humans and robots or humans and artificial so we shouldn't fear the machine. I feel like we're writing a screenplay as we go. No, don't, yeah, don't fear the machine. And uh, I mean, you know, these things have a way of working themselves out. When the Industrial Revolution happened, everybody was panicked that there would be nothing for anybody to do. I mean, we're good as a society is finding ways to fill our time. But to your point, this is going to be a huge shift. I mean, we talk Absolutely. about the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. as a talking point, and you're saying this is going to be just as big, if not bigger. Yeah, this will really be you know, the fourth industrial revolution, and it will also allow manufacturing to come back to the United States. I mean, we hear a lot about losing jobs to China. Well, China is losing jobs, but not to other countries, to machines. And so when, you know, the costs become around logistics and the machines and the equipment, it makes a lot of sense to move it back to the United States. But kind of to your earlier point, it's not just these manufacturing jobs. It is also white-collar jobs. It is things in finance and IT managers. I mean, these are some of the low-hanging fruit, let alone once we get into deeper, more technical things like medicine, for example. All right. A look at the future. Thank you very much. Yeah. Justin Stanix with me there from Nanotronics.